the family. You know, we love our lives at home, but let's face it, sometimes things can be just a little hectic. And that's why we're calling in our friend, lifestyle expert Yvette Rios from New York City with some of her top mom hacks to help us out. Good morning, Yvette. Great to see you again. How are you? Good morning. It's always such a pleasure to talk to you. I'm really excited because I've partnered with a couple of really great products that I think will be very helpful. Well, I think it'll be helpful, especially if you have little ones that are constantly on devices. And this is really a modern problem, isn't it? It's like we want kids to know tech, but we want them to know life outside of devices as well. What can we do? Oh, absolutely. I've got two little kids. So for me, finding ways to reduce screen time is so important. And that's why I'm loving this product. They're called Tonys. So for our family, story time is a really special part of the day. It's my favorite part of the day. And this makes it so much more engaging. So basically, this is the Tony box. It's a screen-free audio speaker system. And you place these really cute little figures called Tonys on top of your speaker to play a song or a story. So They've got over 75 Tonys to choose from. Each one plays a different story, and they've got all sorts of kid favorites like Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol, Wild Kratts, and a bunch more. And what is so cool, they have these things called creative Tonys. So when you buy them, they're blank. So they've got no recording on them, and you can add your own voice recording. Um, you can record a story or a song by using their app. So imagine grandparents or maybe loved ones that you don't see very often recording a story in their voice for your kids. It is so magical and it's such a meaningful way to connect. That really is magical. That is so creative. I've never really seen anything quite like that. And the little figurines are adorable too. That looks so fun. Um, I know, so cute. Yvette, with your little kids and I know uh, even with my, my pet children that I have at home, safety comes first. <laughs> We should always be, you know, starting with a safe home. Absolutely. And you're totally right. You know, I've got a dog and a cat and they are our family. So, you know, it's really important to keep our home safe. I'm in love with this new product from Kitta. It's given me personally so much peace of mind. It's their Smoke Plus Carbon Monoxide Alarm with smart features. So what's so cool about this is it's the first solution to add smart home control to your existing traditional hardwired Kitta alarm. So basically, all you do is replace one of those hardwired alarms with this unit, and then it connects all of your other traditional ones to the Kitta app. So through the app, you can get all kinds of real-time information on potential issues, whether you're at home or you're away, and you can even use voice control through Alexa and Google Assistant. And if you've got, let's say, parents or grandparents and you want to monitor their homes as well, if they have this unit, you can also you know, take care and look after their homes on the app too, which is so cool. It sounds super smart and it's one of those things you just don't want to mess around with. Uh, super important. You have something else there on the table that looks very creative. Yes, so I've been really trying, especially this year, to reduce the amount of chemicals that I use to clean in my home. Um, and this is kind of like easy, a super tried and true um, recipe for cleaning products. Um, this is my kind of all-purpose general one. So I use a half a cup of vinegar, a tablespoon of baking soda, a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, two cups of water. Um, I juice one lemon in there and I add 15 uh, drops of lemon oil, which makes it smell great. And I use this to clean my counters, to clean furniture. It's just a great all-purpose one and it'll save you a ton of money if you make it. And um, you know, my last hack really has to do with keeping the lines of communication open with your kids. When my kids came home from school, I used to ask them, you know, how was school? How was your day? And I would get these one word answers like, okay, or fine, or, <laughs> but now right. I've started asking more open-ended questions. Oh, it's crazy, right? So I ask these three questions at the dinner table. I ask them, what was the rose of their day? So what was the best part of their day? What was the thorn of their day? So what was the worst part of their day? And what was the bud of their day? So something they're looking forward to. And those three questions have really helped us kind of get the conversation started and get the kids out of their shells a little bit, which I think is very, very important. That is such a unique way of going about it. You know, I could use that same technique as an interviewer, Yvette, so thank you so much. <laughs> 
I might just do that. <laughs> By the way, that's awesome. the folks, uh, the audience on my show knows I'm a big uh, neat freak and I use that same vinegar baking soda combination. It is brilliant. I'm actually teased at the station for keeping vinegar on my desk. Um, so, <laughs> so I, <laughs> I love it. I love your thinking, Yvette Rios. Thank you so much. Again, go to inthenews.tv for all these great ideas. Yvette shared with us this morning.